An incredible survival and rescue story from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. An eight-year-old boy went missing this weekend while camping with his family in the Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park in Michigan. Rescuers searched tirelessly by land, air, and water to find him. Our Derek James talked to some of the men who found him and learned about the smart moves he made to be found. We gotta find him today, and like today's the day to find him. If you don't find him today, he's not gonna make it. So. Family friend and searcher Matt Tingstead knew Monday morning that they needed to find eight-year-old Nanti Nimi soon. The second grader from northern Wisconsin had been missing in the Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park in Michigan's UP since Saturday afternoon. The heavily wooded area was difficult to search. It's so densely packed that even just getting a four-wheeler into the area is very difficult. Tingstad and a search partner hiked over 14 miles while searching from Sunday morning to Sunday night. As they were losing daylight, they found a path of snow with what they immediately knew were Nanti's tracks. So you could barely see the soil still, but you tell from his strides and just his actions, how he's just meandering through, not a, not a straight path, meandering, walking, playfully in the snow. Unable to find Nanti Sunday night, Tingstead returned with a larger search and rescue group on Monday. Nearly 50 hours into their search, Nanti was found about 300 yards from his Saturday tracks. Michigan State Police say Nanti purposely walked around during the day to create tracks when he realized people must be looking for him. Eli Talsma, a close family friend and volunteer lunch monitor at Nanti's school, carried him out of the woods. My heart just dropped and like all of the thoughts of whatever could have happened just went away and I was just so happy to see him. Are you just checking him out, making sure that, that he's all right in that moment? Well, first thing he did was he went to give me a fist bump and we gave a fist bump and then we gave each other a big hug. And I was like, are you okay? Are you okay? Is anything wrong? He's like, no, I'm I'm good. I'm just kind of ready to go home. Talsma says he can't wait to reunite with Nanti when he returns to school this week. When I went out for lunch, his normal lunch time today, I'm like, oh, I can't wait till he's back there and I can give him one more big hug and just see him again. Troopers from the Michigan State Police Wakefield Post took lead on the search for Nanti. At most recent count, MSP said more than 250 search and rescue personnel from 30 groups assisted with the search, including canines. And when I was talking to one of the patrolmen today on the phone, he was telling me that another thing was that Nanti was so smart about the outdoors that he told them I knew not to just eat some random plants out there because I might not know if they're poisonous hmm. and that I shouldn't drink dirty water. And that's why he was able to find some clear snow. That what is smart so kid. smart. Yeah. They say that, you know, he, he's eight, but his survival skills are like that of an 18 year old. Yeah. Yeah. The temptation to eat after more than 24 hours being out there and he knew to hold back. I mean, and kind of stay within the same vicinity. He didn't start just wandering for and a And Mike, long you distance. know, you know, the weather, there was some some rain there. Yeah. Temperatures down in the low 40s at times. So it got cold and he used leaves and things to just protect himself. Well, but at the same time, it was good. There was still snow there. Like yeah. this is one instance where you can say good thing. I, I don't know that I would have thought of that at the age of four. Yeah, <laughs> same. Right. Yeah. Yeah, really impressive. And Great I think he's, you know, he, he's doing well. Uh, Eli said, you know, they're just kind of taking it easy. You're going to ease him back into school maybe Thursday or Friday of, of this. No week. big deal. Just yeah. going back to Take school. A more days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. He said, no. I am ready to go home. Yeah, yeah that was cute. Well, I understand. 